Hi there, my name's Andy Sykes, otherwise known as Hexjibber. I'm a award-winning animator and I also teach flash animation in universities and colleges here in the UK. This is my website, hexjibber.com, and uh, here's the lesson. Uh, if you checked out my last lesson on um, jazzing up your motion tweens, then you should have an animation of a face getting bigger or any motion tween at all will do. Uh, next little trick I'm going to show you is how to make something fade out or disappear. So if we go to our last keyframe here where it's nice and big, click on that with the black selection tool. Uh, we start, we get this, uh, it says graphic, which it is, it's a graphic symbol. And here you can see we've got color effect. It's a style none. It's got no style. So if we want to give it some style, we click where it says none and we can select alpha. Now alpha sounds dramatic, but essentially what alpha means is transparency, the alpha channel of um, the document. So you see we're on 90% alpha at the moment. If I slide that down to 0% alpha, it will disappear. So we now have a transparent symbol. So if I play the whole thing through, it'll fade out. Amazing. It's disappearing. Okay. If we click on our symbol again, we can change it from alpha to tint. So you can see my tint color is already selected as a kind of orangey yellow. Um, you can either select the color of tint you want it to be by clicking on this color here. If you want to make it pink, you can do. Or you've got these slider bars down here if you want real precision. So if we play that through now, it'll go from black to pink. So it'll cycle through all the colors from black to pink. If you want to make that a more obvious change, you can click on this first symbol and tint that a very different colour, like green. So you can see, there you go. Cycles through the colours. If we turn easing off, it'll make that a bit more of a smooth transition. So there you go, that's pretty simple. And you can combine alpha and tint effect if you want by going to advanced. That gives you the amount of alpha and then your colors as well. You can see that monitoring colors by sliding the bars there. So there you go, that's pretty simple. You've got brightness as well, which is pretty self explanatory. It's how bright the symbol is. Tint, advanced, yeah, do them all. So uh, yeah, that's that's the end of the lesson. I think in our next lesson, I will show you how to do loops. Okay, see you there. Hey, if you've enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can also buy my book, The Hexjibber Coloring and Activity Book. You can buy it in the UK, US, Germany, France, Japan, from Amazon and other good stores.